hopefully this is for the captain. Playing partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Howdy, my name is Good Guy, my good mate, YouTube channel. Welcome back to more Subnautica. So, today, today, guys, it is finally time. It is finally time to start some serious, serious exploration. Uh, so, I spent a decent amount of time off camera getting the Cyclops all souped up and ready. So let's go ahead and take a, a little bit of a tour. So for the start area, we have this. This is where you first enter, and this is my storage bay. So I took a ton of the uh, storage areas out of the base that we had and sort of moved everything in here. So you can see we have like a bunch of titanium. We actually have two things of titanium. I spent some time looking for extra because I knew it would be short on it. Um, fabricated, so I actually need to move some of this fabricated in here. So I have a ton of uh, silicon rubber and the reason behind that is that we are actually, we're fairly unlikely to find any uh, silicon rubber like uh, creeper pods in the uh, any, any other place we're gonna go, so we're gonna stock up now because it's a crucial part of batteries. Um, so going to the upper deck, uh, we have of course our launch bay area. We have our keep calm poster. That way, when things get really, really spooky, scary, we can keep calm optimistically. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights on. Look at that. Okay, and then uh, we have our little food bay area, so we got ourselves some Chinese potatoes as well as lanterns. I moved all the fish in here. None of my fish are currently infected. I'm such a great fish dad. Uh, and then this is the Peace Daily Resistance. I moved a ton of stuff in here. Uh, we have our little fabrication station as well as our bed. We have our little food station so we can get some snacks if we need them. Uh, it is great stuff, guys. I am super, super excited. Uh, we have pretty much everything that we need. Uh, the one thing that I do want to do is make it, if I have the materials to make a decoy, I want to make a decoy real quick. But otherwise, guys, I think that we're ready to go ex start exploring. Um, so, thank you so much for spending some time with me. We're going to go ahead and listen to this area. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Huh. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Cool. So we got another we got another pod to examine when we get a second. Uh, I'm not going to spend any time actually examining it. So there we go. There's the second officer Keen's last broadcast location. Um, are there any other radios? We want the captain's one. Uh, the captain's one is a big one. But anyways, guys, we are unbelievably we're ready to like head off, which is crazy. I'm actually going to leave this open in case I need to run back and make some repairs because we're getting like beat to crap. Um, so we got our tools. I I got to be perfectly honest, guys. It's not, it's not perfect yet. It's not perfect because we need to do this. We need to make sure that we get our little arcade gorg. Look it. We need to have our little sleeping buddy. What? Can we not... Can we not place him in our... Can we not place him in the, the Cyclops? Oops. Okay, hold on. We'll go to sleep, then we'll try and place the... We'll try and place the arcade gorg. What? That's so bizarre that it won't let us place the little guy. He's too heavy, guys. He's just... He's too thick. He's too thick. If we place him, he'll compromise the whole integrity. Um, wow, I seriously... I can't place him anywhere in here. That's hilarious. Of all the crazy stuff that we can place, this guy's not one of them. Okay, well... Bummer. <laughs> what a... What a world, guys. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get our hotbar working. Um, I guess he's just on our hotbar now? Okay, let's go ahead and jump down real quick. And we're gonna put him in the misc area. Hopefully we do not get blown up, because if we get blown up and I lose that guy, I'm gonna be really, really sad. We're gonna do this. We're gonna save. 
Because uh, we're about to go on some crazy adventures together. So we need to go... Engine offline. Engine power. Oh my goodness, guys. This is really cool. Okay. So... We want the normal speed. We do not want... Okay, so there's our rig for silent running. These are our cameras. This is our radar that tells us where things are. Wow. Okay, let's get off this little rock that we're caught on. That's okay. Should be good. Alright. I forgot how slow this thing goes. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. So, that goes west. Wow, the compass has a little bit of a weird... So, we want the north blood kelp biome. Can we... I think flagged emergency speed. Warning. Vessel channel takes that excessive noise. Ah, interesting. Okay, so... Wow, I forgot how slow this guy goes. Um, silent running. So I do need to be careful. So they, they added some stuff to the the Cyclops, right? So obviously there's the torpedo pods so that we can send out our... Uh, um, how do we... How do we go down again? Is it shift? There's a way that we can like... Is it Z? X? Q? How do we... Tab, caps lock, because space is to breach. How do we go down though? Is it alt? Guys, I am just, hold on one second. All right, we're back. It's C, I'm an idiot. It's C to go down. Okay, so we need to be careful. We do, obviously don't want to hit the hit the C floor, but uh, it is going to be easier for us to travel if we can see where we're going. So we're, we're heading to the blood kelp biome. Um, so we need to get to the mushroom biome first, and then we head, uh, we head, like along to the right, so to the east of the mushroom biome. Uh, what is this area? I can't say I'm familiar with this. Oh, it looks like we're just in the Mesa biome, but just... Okay. Floating islands? What the heck? How do we end up here? Okay. We're gonna go ahead and... Let's see, we don't have anything on our radar. Um... I think that I think that good guy Mike went the wrong way. <laughs> That's okay. We're gonna figure it out. All right, guys. We're gonna figure it out. Once we get to the blood kelp biome, we're gonna put a beacon down so that we don't ever get lost again. Um, of course, that is once we get there. Um, boy, is it is it cheating to pull up a map, guys? Because I I feel like I might have to pull up a map because I'm a little bit confused at where we're at. Let's go ahead and. S Go deep, okay. We're at where's our depth? 500 meters is our max depth. Wow, thought we could go deeper than that for some reason. Um, oops, does that hurt our ship? That does incredible. How does that hurt our ship? Um, okay, so three legged sea beasties, 13. So that's the priority passenger, okay. So we actually want to head towards the priority passenger, which is the blood kelp biome area, um, or not the blood kelp biome area. Ah, warper. What the hell? Whoa. Um, not what we were looking for, but might be worth investigating, huh? Look at that. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and, hold on. Turn off our engines. Engine powering down. Okay, we don't want to leave that on. I think it, I think it spends energy, which we don't want to do. Okay, so, Oh, you know what, guys? I totally forgot. We should be building the rebreather. Uh, you guys told me in a, in a last episode that I need to build the rebreather. I don't know why I haven't yet. Okay, so what do we need to build it? Equipment. Uh, rebreather is a wiring kit and a fiber mesh. I have a fiber mesh, uh, and I have enough silver to make a wiring kit. So let's go ahead and jump down here real quick. Fiber mesh is going to be fabricated. And then silver is going to be metal for a wiring kit. Um, I didn't want lithium. Why did you give me lithium? It's two silver. Okay. So let's go ahead and build the rebreather. I don't know why I haven't built that yet. Um, I feel like such a fool. Okay. Fabricator. Electronics wiring kit. Cool. And we want to be careful. We don't want to build like a ton of stuff if we don't need to. Um, so this pulls energy directly out of the battery, which is not super awesome. Um, but necessary. Okay, so we want to take the radiation suit head off. We want to put it on the rebreather. I don't think we're going to need the radiation suit head. Uh, but since we have so much inventory space at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and leave it on. Let's go ahead and take drink one of these. We've got enough batteries. Yes, we do. Okay. 
Uh, let's get the laser cutting tool because I think that we might need to cut into an area while we're in here. And this is an area. This is going to be an area where I wish that I had the the sea moth with me, but say la vie. Okay. I did see a warper over here, so we will have to be cautious. Okay. Do you guys see an entrance into this thing? Um, I do not see an entrance. I do think that our infection is high enough that if we do see a warper, they should attack us, which is not super awesome. So in case you guys didn't know, the warpers attack based off of uh, infection level. Okay, do we got any cool fragments here? Um, what is this? This is a... How do I not have my scanner on the hotbar? Jeez. Uh, power cell charger fragment. This is good. This is really good, actually. I So, once upon a time, the recharger used less energy than the batteries, like, produced. So, you technically got infinite energy from using the recharger fragment. I don't know if that is still the case, but at the very least, if we start to get into a hairy uh, spot, we can build a, a recharging station, and then, um... And then, look, there's the other piece of it. Uh, we can build a, we can build a small base, put on a solar panel, and build a recharging station. Um, and, like, recharge our boat there. Um, I think that you can actually put them inside of the, like, single pod bases. I'm not certain, though. Okay, so I think that is all that we... I think that's all the good loot that there is in here. Um, I'm not seeing anything else pop up on as scannable. So, let's go just peek our heads through here, because we have the oxygen to do it. But... Yeah, I'm not seeing anything anything else, guys, so we're going to go ahead and jump on out. Um, okay, and we got to be close to the blood kelp biome, huh? Um, okay, where's my where's the cyclops? There it is. Perfect. So, this is right on the edge, which I think that the, the blood kelp is right over there. Actually, I actually think I can see the blood kelp. Yes, that is blood kelp. Okay, perfect. So, it's down into our right. Let's go ahead and jump on. All systems online. Okay. Turn our engine on. Powering up. Thank you. I think our lights are on as well, aren't they? Let me just double check. Uh, toggle internal lights. Let's turn our internal lights off. We don't need it super, super bright in here. Okay. So, we want to descend. Is that a... You know what? We're going to actually just... It is dark. We're going to go to bed. <laughs> what? I'm not tired enough to sleep. What, are you kidding me? What is it, a giant eclipse? It's not this dark over here. Freaking heck. This... <laughs> this sucks. Okay, well, let's descend until we're going to hit something. Okay. So, we have a new radio transmission. Hopefully it's not... Uh, Sorry, lights on. Thank you. Okay. Um, hopefully this is for the captain. Playing partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated mode. Hunting, analyzing, sharing subject locations with other agents. Oh, oh, oh no, that's, that's not what we call super awesome. That's, uh, that's, uh, not an awesome, awesome thing. Oh, we're gonna hit our tail. Um, I'm, s <laughs> why does it say it's, I'm not tired enough to sleep? That's bogus. Let's try it again. It is so dark out there. How is it not nighttime? Okay, hold on. Let's jump outside of the ship real quick, get our bearings. Hopefully, whatever was on the radio is not going to maul us. Okay, so that is where Lifebot Passenger was at. That means that the blood kelp is forward. Okay, yeah, I can see it vaguely, I think. Let me just go ahead and zip over here a little bit. Yes, so that is blood kelp. So we just need to go, like, pretty much just straight, and then we'll run into the blood kelp biome. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump into our ship. Goodness. All right, boy, that is that was a hell of a broadcast. <laughs> um, so, if we had any doubt that we weren't welcome here, 
Um, we now officially know. So nine new biological agents is interesting, though. Um, that must just then like the amount of people who landed, I guess. I don't know. Um, okay. So we want to drop down in here and we want to keep our eyes open for a... Can I sleep yet? It's got to be almost bedtime, right? There we go. Criminies. The fact that it wouldn't let me sleep is frustrating. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the nine new biological entities must be the other people who survived, and then they, they must have perished along the way. Which is crazy that out of however big... I mean, maybe the Aurora's just was seriously that huge. Let's go ahead and look, at, look at our cameras. Um, okay. So I don't know if crab snakes are going to be um, a danger, but we'll find out, I guess. So this, it, it, guys, what we're looking for here, is he, is he gonna attack me? It looks like he might be interested in attacking me. Let's, that would be a yes. So, okay. Um, that is my energy. Okay, I think that we should be okay. I wonder if I honk the sound horn. <laughs> I wonder if that scares him. I wonder if that has any practical purpose other than drawing creatures to your location. Um, okay. So keep your eyes open. We're looking for a life pod. Um, so supposedly the captain's life pod sank to 500 meters is right around where it sank to. I'm not seeing anything right off the bat. I'm sort of tempted to try and take the, uh, um, the... The, what do you call it? Not the... The prawn suit. I'm kind of tempted to try and take the prawn suit out and see if we can spot anything with it. Because the prawn suit, I think, can go up to 900 meters, like, right off the bat, which is bananas. Um, hmm. And the prawn suit might be more adept to taking on the, uh, the crab squids. Okay. How deep are we, by the way? We're at three. Whoa! Uh, silent. Rick for silent running. Holy cow! I have never seen one of those get before, and if I never see one again, I would be a hundred percent okay. What the? So that must be the ghost Leviathan. Wow, he is horrifying. Yikes! Okay. Do not like that guy. Um, I'm not seeing a life pod, guys. Let's see, which way is the front? That's the tail. Okay. So let's continue to, to sink down a little bit. This place is pretty deep, though. So, I mean, it's pretty expansive, if I'm perfectly honest. That looks like a cave entrance, if I'm also being honest. Um, huh. Oh, there we go. There it is. See it? Bingo. Guys, holy cow. I was right. <laughs> I mean, I, of course I was right. I always knew I would be right. Um, okay. So, I don't think we have any super hostile predators besides that... Besides that ghost leviathan. So, we are about to hit our tail. This is what it's warning me. Let's go ahead and... There we go. Perfect. Alright. This is where it gets a little spooky. We're going to try and jump out, grab the audio log from that, and then um, get the, the depth module. Ooh. Why are we red? Are we are we too deep? Oh, it's because we're right on the edge of too deep. Okay. We're not taking damage, are we? No. Okay. Interesting. Interesting that we're at like a... It's all red like that. Oh, because we're in silent running mode. Gotcha. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our sea moth, or our, our sea glide. I don't see any nasty predators that looking to, you know, ravage my body, dance on my grave, tell my mom about it. Are these diamonds or are these quartz still? These are still quartz, okay. Um, okay, so this data box should give us yes. <laughs> Guys, oh, it feels so good to be right. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often. Okay, and this is the PDA we're after. Yes. Chief Technical 
So this one, I believe, tells me... Let's go ahead and listen to it. Okay. Um, data downloads, Aurora survivors. Here we go. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. Weird. Okay, I thought that that... For some reason... I, I mean, clearly I'm wrong. For some reason I thought that was going to have the code for the, um... Uh... What do you call it? Um... The code for the... Uh... The room into the captain's area. I'm guessing that Life Pod 19 must have that instead. Um... Oh well. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and see what we... If we can build the, um... Well, the upgrade for it. Yet. Captain. We might have all the material. If it requires nickel, then we're in trouble. But I don't think the first version requires nickel. I think it's the, the second and third. Okay. Um, three ruby and a plasteel ingot. I think that we have that, actually. Holy cow. Um, let's go ahead and double check. We're going to be close on the three ruby part. So, crystal. Ah! Oh, daggummit! <laughs> but we do have enough for the, the plastic ingot, right? Because we have two lithium. Okay. Well, that's okay, though, because we're actually in the correct biome to find um, uh, Ruby. This is one of the best places to find Ruby. So we'll do that next episode. Anyways, though, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it because pretty much as I do, if you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and welcome. You guys, keep you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye-bye.